If you're looking for an easy slow cooker meal, this one's for you. This simple Mississippi pot roast is just bursting with flavor and it's so easy to make. Let's get started. If you've never heard of a Mississippi pot roast, this is the meal for you. This is so full of flavor and it's usually made with a whole bunch of packets of stuff. So like ranch seasoning packet and an au jus packet. We are making this completely from scratch with the exception of our beef stock, unless you wanna make homemade beef stock. And this is still super flavorful and so, so amazing. This beef literally melts in your mouth. So to get started, you're going to need a chuck roast. I like about a one and a half to a two pound roast. And you wanna have a lot of marbling in there. So make sure there's like some fat to break down your beef in the slow cooker and add to the flavor. You're also going to need some carrots, some pepperoncini peppers and the juice from the jar, some onions, cornstarch, beef stock, garlic powder, salt, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, dried buttermilk, a bunch of herbs and spices to make a ranch seasoning, and some butter. So to start, we're going to make like our ranch seasoning blend. And we're just gonna start with a little bit of this dried buttermilk into the bowl. And then seasonings are some dried chives, a little bit of dried parsley, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, we're just gonna sprinkle all that in there and whisk it together. I forgot my garlic powder and salt. Just add that, whisk it all together. And then we're just gonna set this aside. If you've ever seen my dried ranch seasoning, this is what I use here. If you already have that in your pantry, you can use that for this recipe. So now we're gonna move over to the stove and we're going to sear our roast. So to start, we're going to add some olive oil to the pan. Once the pan is heated up, we're going to add our roast to the pan and sear it on both sides until it's like golden and crusty. That's gonna take about five, 10 minutes. Once your roast is done being seared, we're going to move that to the slow cooker and then add your onions and carrots to the pan and just cook them until they're starting to soften. Stir in the garlic and cook for another two to three minutes and then add that to the slow cooker with your roast. Now that we have the meat and the veggies in the slow cooker, we're just gonna add everything else. And this is like really super simple. So we're going to add our homemade ranch seasoning, just sprinkle it all over top. We're going to add the pepperoncini peppers and the juice that adds so much flavor. Don't skip that. We're going to add the Worcestershire sauce. It gives it a little beefy note since we're not using like an au jus packet. And we're going to use beef stock. And I have just beef stock in a box here, but if you make your own beef stock, that would be fabulous in this recipe. But for ease, we're just gonna use this and we're gonna pour the whole box in. It's like 40 gallons. All right, and just give it a quick little stir, kind of get that seasoning submerged there. and then one bay leaf and just plop that in, put the lid on and you can cook it on high for four hours or low for six hours. Either way, dinner will be ready when you are. So our beef is done. We're just taking the rest out of the slow cooker. And now we're gonna make a slurry. A slurry is just like a liquid with some cornstarch or flour and it's used as a thickener for gravy. So I have some melted butter here that's room temperature. You don't want it to be hot because you'll get a lot of clumps. And then I'm just gonna add some cornstarch to the bowl. My too small bowl. So we're just gonna mix this together. It'll kind of create like a paste-ish. The reason you don't wanna add the cornstarch directly to the drippings or the beef stock in your hot crock pot is because you're gonna get a lot of lumps. So the cornstarch will lump together. So you kind of need to dissolve it a little bit before you add it to the pot. 
So the butter adds some richness and the cornstarch will thicken it up. So it'll make it more like a gravy. So if you want it a little thicker, you can add more cornstarch butter mixture to this. Just kind of double it up and eyeball it. You can also take that stock out of the slow cooker and put it in a saucepan and kind of bring it to a boil and that will also thicken it up. It's gonna help that cornstarch tighten it up so that it becomes a true gravy. All right, so let's plate it up and dig in. This pot roast is ready. I'm going to take a bite. Mm. That is so fabulous. You have the tanginess from the pepperoncini peppers and the richness from the gravy. It is so good. Simply fabulous, the perfect Sunday dinner. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.